All right, we are currently one week out from competition and I'm five weeks in my powerlifting program. And on the program, that means that I have to test out my projected max. Basically what that means is I'm going to be trying to rep out my current max. I, the rep range is one to four. So depending on how much I can rep it out for, I have to do a certain calculation and whatever that calculation equals out to will be my new projected max. And that's what I have to attempt on comp day. So we're gonna see how that goes. Uh, today will be deadlifts. It's supposed to be squats but I did injure myself. I currently have a strained intercostal muscle. So like around my left rib area, it fucking hurts when I try to squat. So I'm gonna try to avoid squats for now. The schedule is supposed to be squats, bench and deadlifts, obviously uh, on different days, testing it out, but it's gonna be the other way around. It's gonna be deadlifts, the bench and squats. So yeah, today's deadlifts, let's see how it goes. After I test it out, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, some legs and then that'll be it for today. All right, it's a little busy in here, uh, but we did find a little spot to uh, start deadlifting. I'm gonna warm up, uh, build up to the weight that I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to do 465 pounds for one to four, and then see what the calculation is. Uh, yeah, let's get started. Talking about cuz how you feeling about that one? How was that move? So that was my last my last warm-up. Uh, I now have to do the actual test working set. I have to wrap up my current max for one to four. 465 pounds. And then depending on how many times I can wrap it out for, I'll show you guys the calculation. Do you wanna be on camera? You can. Yeah, sure. Thank you. No problem. There you go. Free fit for less bag. Hey, fit for less, there you go. There what you happens go. when you're dedicated to a gym? <laughs> there you go. Scared, bro. Really scared right now. Get focused, bro. Don't lift until you're focused. Easy! Up! Oh, good. Oh, oh, good. Alright, we're done with the session. As you can see, I got a free fit for this bag. My name on it with a smiley face and everything. Thank you. Um, but I did manage to rep out my current max for three. So now we have to do the calculation and figure out what my projected max would be. So on the program it says that if I rep it out for three, uh, that I'm supposed to multiply it for 1.06. So to do that, 465 times 1.06 will get my new projected max. This is what I would attempt in my competition. It's around 492. Um, I, I don't know what that is in kilograms, let's figure it out. Okay, so that'll be around 223. I don't know how the uh, 
how the weights actually go in uh, in competition. This is my first time competing, so I, I have to figure it out when I'm there. But that's roughly what I would be attempting for my final lift on deadlifts. So now we're just gonna do a little bit of a, of a leg workout, like I said. Tomorrow we're gonna take a rest day, and then the following day after that, we're gonna test out my new, uh, my new bench, my projected bench. And then on the final day, we'll do squats. Like I said, I, I am injured. Uh, I have to figure out if I even wanna try to do squats. We'll see. Getting more into why I received a new Fit For Less bag last time I was here. I've been making uh, little Instagram reels and just been posting them and I guess Fit For Less Canada has been seeing them because I have been tagging them. <laughs> so they hit me up in my DMs and offered me the new bag. So I obviously didn't decline it, I, I took it. And they offered me a content partnership. So I just received an email today from them uh, with the offer. I've responded and now, now we're just figuring out everything else. So yeah, everything, it, like it, it might fall through. I hope it does, you know, everything goes well. And I'll be like a fit for less partner. It'll be pretty cool, you know? But getting on to today's program or today's workout, we are going to be determining my bench projected max. So I'm supposed to wrap out 240 pounds. That's five pounds under my current PR. I'm supposed to wrap it up for one to four once again. And then depending on how many times I can wrap it up for, I have to do a certain calculation. So we'll see how this goes. We'll walk in there now and uh, hopefully everything goes well. Take a wild guess. How many times do you think I can wrap that up for? 240. Like, at least six. Six? <laughs> yeah. Chill, bro. Bro. <laughs> yeah. What's up? Here we are. Uh, I'm gonna warm up with the bar. And then I'm gonna warm up from 30% to 50%. I'm gonna wrap out. 30 and 40 for five, and then 50% for three. And I'm gonna do warm up singles, building up to the weight that I'm supposed to do. So, let's do it. I feel, I feel okay, I feel okay. We'll see when we get to the heavier singles. It's starting to feel heavy, bro. No cap, no cap, bro. <laughs> Singles or two, probably do three, and then work the set. See how it goes. Flipping up the belt. Let's do this, bro. Okay, what are we working on now? Uh, 190. 190? Uh, yeah, another single. After this is 215. And after 215, it's the working set, 240. I felt nice. 
that one felt nice. That one was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one felt nice. That one's kind of bad. That's pretty bad. That's alright. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's all good. <laughs> it worked out for him. Fuck. It was just a rack, right? It was a rack at... When I brought it up, it went uneven. Oh, so. did it? Oh, okay. Shit. Okay. I think it's because I was like trying to bring it up super fast. Oh, yeah. I lost yeah. control at the top. Alright, here comes the uh, moment of truth. 240 on the bar. Um, how much I can rep this out for. I'm probably gonna prop up the camera and get uh, my cameraman Jordan to give me commands because I do need to do these reps with commands because I need it for competition. And uh, yeah, I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. Incredible. My right shoulder's kind of hurting right now. Oh, that. I don't know, this could be a mental thing, but I don't focus. Fucking focus. How long have I been resting for? We'll go another minute. I repped it out for two. I wanted three. I almost had three. So honestly, I am. I might even count. I might count the three. It could just be like a weird day for me, or it could be like a mental thing. But I feel like I had three. But if we're being realistic, let's multiply. Let's do the calculation. So 240. Repping it out by two means that I multiply it by 1.03. So 247. A little low for my liking. For my like one rep single, you know. So I think I might lean, to, lean towards the 3, so if we do 240, if I wrap it up by 3, I multiply it by 1.06, 254, that's like a better number, because like there's no way I'm under 250 right now, I, I need at least 250 or like just a little more than that, but by chance, let's see what, what I'd get if I managed to wrap it up for 4 <laughs> times 1.09. I'd be like over 260. So honestly, to play it, to play it safe-ish, I'd, pro I'd probably go for like 254. In comp, that would be 115 kilograms. So that's around 253. That would be my max for comp. But if I want to play it like safe-safe, then it would probably be like under 250. So uh, I'll, I mean, like strength fluctuates. So I'll see how I feel on comp day. This is so weird right now, bro, because I was honestly expecting three, but it is what it is, whatever. I definitely had three reps in me for bench, so I honestly think I'm going to do 253 or 115 kilograms for my final bench lift. And if I'm feeling really good on comp day, I might try to push close to 260, which is 117.5 kilograms, but we, we'll see. Now you might be wondering why I'm in my room right now. It's because I am not going to be determining my projected max for squats. I just don't see it being worth the risk right now. It's just starting to feel better in my ribs. So I just don't really see a point in risking 
trying to find out what my new max is it just doesn't seem worth it right now. So if I am going to risk everything and hurting myself again, it it's probably best to do it on calm day. I'm not even really sure what I'm going to open with for squats and I'm not even really sure what I'm going to max out with for squats. That will all have to come when calm day comes uh, to see how I really feel when I'm warming up. Um, but if I really had to like take a guess, I'm, I would probably guess 380 as the opener. And then maxing out, I, I couldn't tell you. And as for deadlifts, we already had that figured out. Uh, we're gonna do 490, 490.5 or something like that, which is 222.5 kilograms. So yeah, that's it. There's really nothing else for me to do now but wait. I have all my equipment ready. Um, I have all the food that I'm gonna bring planned out. All that's left really is to wait for calm day. So uh, I think that's it. I'll see you guys on the day of. All right, we're, we're in here now. It's uh, super packed in here, super full. Great environment though. Um, I'm really nervous. Uh, that's all that I really have to say. Um, whenever I'm able to set my rack heights and warm up, then I'll do so. I have everything here. My equipment, my food. Yeah, see you guys when everything gets started. We're setting rack heights now. We're doing it outside because it's so packed inside. Got my slip. Everyone's doing it now. As long as it doesn't kill you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, it's a neck area. Right there. Is it clear that? I'm one more full. Right. Remember with the weight? Sound is good. Yeah. Oh, not cool. It's good. Can you bring the baby powder? Hey. <laughs> yeah, because I, I forgot. Okay, yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah, so I forgot one thing and it's baby powder. Uh, if you didn't know, we put baby powder on our legs when we deadlift. Um, it's one thing I forgot. <laughs> Going for any PRs today or what? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm planning to beat all my current PRs. So. Perfect. It's a good day then. Hope so. We'll start with what? We'll start with just squats. Yeah. Rack heights have been set. Now all the stuff to do is weigh in, eat, warm up. Let's get it. They're making me submit my openers now. So squat is 172.5. Bench press is 100 kilograms. Deadlift is 200 kilograms. These are my openers. I wish I could. <laughs> right now, let's go. Made my weight. What was your weight again? Uh, 81.14 or something like that. I made it. Um, I don't know if we can head to the back now. Yeah, we can. Okay. Yeah. I'm eating now. I made my weight, like I said. Chicken and rice. Chicken and rice. <laughs> my classic. And then I have a bunch of snacks too. What else you got in there, bro? Let me check. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, okay. All right. Hey, let's get it. Hey, bro. Having a little troubles right now. 
the rib is acting out. Just a little. Um, it does hurt, so we'll see. I'm feeling it, man. It's yeah. not good. What? 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 It hurts, bro. Really? Yeah. Alright, first lift completed. I got two whites, one red. These judges are pretty strict. This is my first competition, but I know enough that they're fucking strict. Um, I did 380, so that was 172 and a half kilograms. Two whites and one red. I'm gonna attempt 185, 185, 185, 185 kilograms on my second lift. I should be going soon. Let's go, buddy!
Weight class, 83 kilograms. Yeah! 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 I honestly wasn't expecting it, but due to uh, we were, we expected it. First place, <laughs> we expected 100. First time, too. First time. First time. First time. Yeah, first, uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting it, but I got it. So yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So yeah, like I was saying, I was not expecting the win there in my weight class, but I got it. Um, I finished with a 522 kilogram total. Uh, a little over, I think, point something. But I was, uh, at the beginning, I was aiming for 530, and I could have got it if I didn't overshot my third squat attempt. It's just the second squat actually felt pretty good. I was just going to go for 192 and a half, um, and that was going to be 424 pounds. Um, but I went for 195, and that was 129 overshot it cause just because like the second one felt so good i was like i could probably do this but couldn't so yeah i went eight out of nine not bad for a first competition totally would have been better if i went nine for nine but it is what it is we got to deal with it although i feel like i could have done 429 if my rib was healthy because it was acting up it was giving me pain when i was doing squats so i feel like if i was healthy i definitely could have had 429 but I guess we'll just have to find out next time. Whenever I compete next, we will find out. Apparently, I qualified for provincials. I have to figure that out. I have to go talk to people about that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I don't really know what else to say. If I'm missing anything, I'll probably just put it in the description or in the comments. So be sure to check those. Yeah, if you enjoyed, feel free to drop a like. Subscribe for more content, maybe. And that's it for me. I'm out. Peace. Yeah! Post meal eats! Sure. Yeah.